What's going on YouTube? DM Gaming here guys. It's early in the morning and I want to skip the intro and jump straight into this video guys. In today's video, I want to answer the dying question of who's going to be the boss battle? Are we going to see Goku Black in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Trunks, the Warrior of Hope? So, if you're new, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video, guys. And let's destroy the like button, man. I want to thank y'all so much for all the likes. We got over 700 comments on the last video, guys. And I'm going to spend the day replying to every single one of them. So please comment, guys. I'm going to reply to every comment that I get. So before we get into this, I do want to show y'all the Steam files really fast because they are finished with update 1.50 which we know is the cards game some of y'all care about that some of y'all don't that's fine update 1.60 dlc3 they are still working on it there's nothing new in the tags but i do want to go over this really fast and i'm going to put a timestamp for whenever the video begins for those of y'all who don't care about any of this information this is dlc3 dlc1 and it says new power awakens dlc2 a new power awakens part two this one says unknown dlc3 and i'm pretty sure they're going to replace that with the trunk stuff and i know y'all are seeing okay three and it goes all the way down to 10. however when you hover over these it tells you what they are pre-order pack right there uh age wild steak you see what i'm saying kakarot uh dragon palace bow these are all like the pre-order bonuses and the free update uh or the downloadable stuff for the game now doesn't mean that they couldn't change this guys but the big question is will they do another season pass and see even right there dlc 10 is kakarot season pass which is weird because when you get the season pass you get all of this stuff too so you know and this is dlc extra which it says unknown so you know do they plan on doing more dlc for the game they said this was the last dlc but they didn't say anything as far as like free updates so i don't know maybe we may still get clothing customization in the future or maybe we may still get um new game plus or something like that I, you know the way that they've been doing this game i don't think it's likely especially because cc2 is working not only on this but the demon slayer game through a different publisher as well and you know i don't know we'll just have to see but that is that now i want to take y'all to the japanese website for dragon ball z kakarot um because they do have the future trunks information finally filled in which normally it takes them a while to do this but they got it pretty quick and all this is saying is the dlc's uh new power awakens bundle and uh future trunks hope dlc uh 2021 and of course this is a bigger dlc guys this and the way that this is set up guys it looks just like the beginning of the game with goku where you could you know explore i'm gonna get into that in a different video but i think there's gonna be more to this dlc than people uh think so uh you're looking at we looked at new power awakens one new power awakens two and this one is the future trunks one and it says that it's coming out early summer of 2021 and the expected retail price is 2000 yen, which translates to about $18 and 40 something cents US, US dollars. So this DLC could cost about $19, which is wow, because the season pass was $25. Guys, I'm telling you, I think there's going to be more. And like I said, I'm going to talk about that in a separate video. That's not what the video is about today. But I seriously think there's going to be a lot more to do with uh, with this DLC. I, I think, yeah. But anyway, this, this part down here, that's in uh, Japanese, of course. It says here, join the power of the surviving Z warriors, Gohan and Trunks, to regain world peace from the hands of the androids so these are going to be the two guys that we're going to be playing with and i think we already know that but the biggest question is how is it going to last eight to twelve hours or the length of an arc and people say where are we getting eight to twelve hours from dragon ball z kakarot was averaging between 35 to 40 hours and if you divide that by four because there were four arcs in the game you're looking at roughly about eight hours per arc and that's if you're rushing guys 
if you're taking your time with the game, the game does last longer than that. And you can speed through it if you're skipping cutscenes and you're not getting defeated and, and things like that. If you're doing all the sub quests that are available and things like that, guys, the story, the arcs do last about eight hours. It is what it is. But like I said, I'm going to talk about that in a different video. Today, we want to talk about this. Every, I mean, guys, out of six, seven hundred comments, over 90 percent of them are talking about Goku Black. We're going to get to see Go. Are we going to get to see Goku Black? Is Goku Black going to be in here? Why did they give us Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God? And I mentioned this in my previous video, which y'all can go check it out on the channel as well. But I'm going to go in, in more depth here. So Goku Black. You know, here's my problem with with the in-game boss for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Trunks, the Warrior of Hope, is we know that the whole, first of all, it, it, it's not going to play out the same way the history of Trunks did. Because it, that doesn't make sense. If it does, then the history of Trunks, guys, ends not with Trunks defeating the androids. It ends with him going to the past to get Goku and them help. History of Trunks, he doesn't defeat the androids. It ends with him going to Goku's timeline and giving him the heart virus, the cure for the heart virus. So if this were to play out just like that, guys, that that that's not the case. And it talks about, uh, like I read here, Gohan. Him and Gohan fight against the androids. Guys, this is not called the History of Trunks for a reason. It's called Trunks warrior future warrior of hope and i know a lot of y'all see this the warrior of hope and y'all saying oh that's what he was called in dragon ball super not only that but you look back at the previous dlcs and you see that we got super saiyan blue we got super saiyan god and you're like wow this is adding up it doesn't make sense we have to be playing against goku black as the finisher for dlc3 and guys i'm gonna say this I'm not saying it's not going to happen. They can bring in Goku Black. They could very easily do that. And there is evidence to show that it is possible. However, we have to realize that this is a Dragon Ball Z game. But in this video, I am going to talk about the possibility of Black being in there. How is it possible that he could be in there? And then I know you're looking to the left and you're saying, but what about Deborah? What is Deborah doing there? So first, let me start with the androids. Like I said, guys, we know that in the series, when Trunks goes back to his timeline, he is so powerful that he defeats the androids and sell easily okay and we know that there's gonna be an in-game boss that has to present a challenge to us they can do this several ways the most boring and easy way is that they do it just like the history of trunks where it ends with us going back in time to find goku that is gonna suck and a lot of people are gonna be upset about that that would mean that we would still have to defeat the androids in order to escape because remember Trunks did fight with them before he ended up leaving. That would be a major bummer. And I don't think they'll go that route because they could have easily just labeled it History of Trunks. You see what I'm saying? But we know that Kakarot, and they push this as an additional scenario, even though the reason they call it a scenario is because it's technically not an arc. History of Trunks is not an arc, you know, but they do, you know, whatever. So the Android thing, it just doesn't sit right with me. You see what I'm saying? Both DLCs, we have had an in-game boss that has been very challenging to us. I don't see the Androids being that. You know, if they because we've already had the main story where Trunks goes, comes into that timeline. However, the difference is we never see Trunks what happens when he goes back into his timeline. This could very well cover that. While you know, the possibility of the 8 to 12 hour thing, guys, is like I said in the previous video, they could actually show us like we could actually play the part where we go back into Goku's timeline. And, you know, maybe we don't fight freezing them again, but maybe we do get the fight perfect sale as as uh, trunks. It, it, listen to this really fast. OK, because this needs to make sense. We're playing with Trunks, and yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's a different version of Trunks, but listen to this. 
because it makes sense. We play through the history of Trunks part. We get to the part where we go to the present timeline or to the past timeline, right? Because in the main game, we've already fought Frieza. We don't do that again. That just shows us a cutscene, or maybe we do fight him again. Who knows? And I know what you're going to say, DM, that's stuff that should be in the main game. That's a ripoff that they taking that and putting it in DLC. But guys, you also have to understand this. They're a business and they only care about making money. Many games strip content out that should be main game content and put it as DLC. That's the whole DLC controversy, but needless to say. So we get to the part where we go back to the past and then we don't fight Freeza because we've already fought him, but they maybe show it through a cutscene or something to that effect. However, what we do get to do is train with Vegeta in the hyperbolic time chamber. We also maybe get to fight against Cell as Ultra or Super Saiyan Ascended Trunks, which didn't happen in the main game. Who knows? You know, that's something that can extend the life of the game is us being able to do that because in doing that, we also gain access to Super Trunks. You see what I'm saying? The transformation of Super Trunks. That would give us two transformations, Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Ascended or Super Trunks, whatever you want to call it. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, guys, that is possible. And I know a lot of people aren't going to like that idea, but that's something that could extend the life of the game, the 8 to 12 hour thing. Because let's be frank, guys, let's be real. Just covering the history of Trunks is not enough content to cover 8 to 12 hours. They are going to have to plug it with something else. But here's something that people aren't realizing about this is, guys, Gohan is here. They never show how he went Super Saiyan. They never show him pre-fighting the androids and things like that. Because this went on for years. So it's possible that the game would even have us cover that. Gohan as a kid fighting against the androids before he meets Trunks. You see, however, in the trailer, it tells us that this story starts 13 years after the androids show up. And so by that time, Trunks is this age and adult and, and Gohan is already this age. Yet and still, they could show us him going Super Saiyan. That could be a part of the story to flesh things out. OK, but the, the thing with this is this. I'm going to talk about Deborah and then I'm going to get into Goku Black. Deborah, what people don't realize is that Deborah actually shows up before Goku Black does. It's talked about in Dragon Ball Super, but it's not something tied to Dragon Ball Super like Goku Black was having a completely separate arc all to himself. In the future Trunks saga, this is something that could even extend it. And it would be good for us to get this, guys, because in this thing with with trunks fighting debura he accesses super saiyan 2 we know dlcs love to give us new transformations and we love to get new transformations it makes sense for us to fight debura at least fight debura. i'm not i'm not even ruling out both i'm just talking about the debura part right now because it would give us super saiyan 2 why because trunks it, he also trained with supreme kai and kabito kai and guys let me tell you something it in like to me, Deborah has to happen before we could ever even get Goku Black. You see what I'm saying? He has to happen because in in the whole Goku Black thing, guys, Beerus is not there. What explains Beerus not being there? The fight with Deborah. Why? Because in the fight with Deborah, both Kabito Kai and Supreme Kai die, which we know if the Supreme Kai dies, that the God of Destruction also dies and thus puts the angel of that universe in limbo. Trunks trains with Supreme Kai and Kabito Kai, guys. He trains with them with the Z Sword, and then he goes on to fight Deborah. And Deborah, he fights Pui Pui, he fights Yakon, he fights Deborah. Pui Pui and Yakon are already in the game. Bobbity's in the game. Kabito Kai is in the game. Supreme Kai is in the game. And we know that he fights against Deborah. Deborah kill, kills Kabito Kai. He ends up killing Supreme Kai at the end, even though Supreme Kai does help before he dies. And that is what sent Trunks over the edge into Super Saiyan 2, which he defeats Deborah, guys. 
And then it goes into Dragon Ball Super where we end up with Goku Black. He shows up shortly after the fight with Debora. And he starts to terrorize that part of, 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 of Tom. And if you look at the Dragon Ball Wiki age, the fandom age, age 795, all of this stuff happens. Future Trucks trains with Future Shin. He, he trains with Supreme Kai. That's what I just showed y'all. Debora kills Kabito and the old Kai and Future Shin leading to Future Beerus' death. That is what I just explained. And this is played out in the manga as well. Future Trunks kills Future Debora and Future Bobbity, halting Future Majin Buu's resurrection. And then Goku Black threatens Future Trunks' world. It could end with Goku Black showing up, guys. And here's the thing. Trunks fought against Goku Black several times before coming to the present timeline. You see what I'm saying? Again, the second time. So it is possible that Goku Black, they could throw him in there to be an in-game boss and they could do that without going into the storyline of Dragon Ball Super. Now, I know people would really want Rose and things like that. You know, so I don't know. They could make it to where, you know, because we've already had Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God, that Goku and Vegeta, that, that make they make it part of that story where we go back and we bring Goku and Vegeta to the present timeline where Trunks is at and they fight against Goku Black. We unlock Super Saiyan Rage form. We unlock a new super for Trunks with the Z, with his sword and stuff like that to fight Goku Black. I know this is a Dragon Ball Z game, but this is also a game in which they are doing things out of pocket. Not to mention in the Soul Emblems, Trunks and Mai do have a connection between each other. Not to mention in the Soul Emblems, there are spaces that are still left open. Not to mention this would answer the question as to how could this game story lasts 8 to 12 hours because if they just cover the history of trunks there's no way that this game can last 8 to 12 hours even with subquests guys because subquests are a part of that storyline you see what i'm saying so to make this to summarize that to make that make sense guys it would make sense if you want goku black in the game you have to have the fight with debora as well because without debora Supreme Kai is still there, Beerus is still there, and Goku Black cannot show up. You see what I'm saying? That is the whole catalyst. Just like y'all was talking about, I want the tournament of power in the game. Y'all wanted to skip Universe 6 and 7 tournament. Universe 6 and 7 tournament was the catalyst for the tournament of power. The fight with Deborah and Trunks' timeline, guys, is the catalyst for Goku Black showing up. That is the whole catalyst for it. Because in that fight, Supreme Kai dies, which kills off Beerus as well and nullifies Whis. It is the catalyst for Goku Black. So I know some of y'all was like, oh, the Debora fight. No, we don't want that. You know. However, the game is marketing everything as the androids, guys. At the end of the day, they're marketing it as the androids. So I don't want to get nobody's hopes up, but I do want to present different possibilities if they they may end it with deborah you see what i'm saying and if they end it with deborah with me that's fine because we still get a new transformation for trunks and we get an end game boss guys because deborah was tough was a very very tough fight for trunks and that makes sense to make him an end game boss the androids don't make sense as an end game boss as far as the history of Trunks storyline is concerned, because like I said, they never show Trunks defeating the androids. However, this is entitled the history of Trunks is titled the Warrior of Hope. OK, so they are I, I, I really believe they are going to add those pieces that was missing in the main story, because. Even though there was a part of the main story in Z where Trunks goes back to his timeline, kills the androids, kills Cell. We never saw that. And I guarantee you they are going to put this into the game. However, he easily defeated Cell. He easily defeated the Android. So it doesn't make sense to make them an in-game boss. Okay? It doesn't make sense because they were too easy. They were as easy as the fight with him and Frieza. All right? So that doesn't make sense. And we know they like to kind of throw curveballs at us and things like that, even though with the previous DLCs, we knew who we were fighting as the main boss in these DLCs. 
and those fights were challenging. However, the reason why, guys, is because these were boss battle episodes. Therefore, they're showing us who we were going to be fighting. Frieza, boss battle. Beerus, boss battle. They're not showing us who we're going to be fighting. Yeah, this says that they're protecting the future. They're fighting against the androids, and it's going to be Gohan and Trunks. I don't see Gohan dying off early in this one. You know what I'm saying? I think that this is one that's going to be fleshed out. You see what I'm saying? But they talk about these two. I mean, that those are going to be your support characters. But like I said, they can throw us a curveball in that and give us some extra stuff. I'm covering this because, y'all, the majority of you want to see Goku Black. And even though, like I said, I don't feel Goku Black is going to be there. That is my belief. If you want to know, DM, do you think Goku Black is going to be in the game? I don't think that he will, but it is still a possibility. Why is it a possibility? Because of what I've just explained with the androids and the issue of who's going to be the final boss in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Trunks, the Warrior of Hope. It's either going to be Debora and or Goku Black. And if it is Goku Black, then Debora is going to be a fight as well because he's going to be a catalyst. He, he's the catalyst for Goku Black even showing up in Trunks' timeline and being able to dominate that timeline due to the absence of the God of Destruction. And like I said, Trunks fights against Goku Black in his timeline before he ever goes back into the future. He fought with Goku Black for about a year, guys. It was a, a year that Goku Black was in Trunks' timeline decimating everything you see what i'm saying so they could easily show us that because they didn't show all of that in super they just showed the end part where trunks decides to go back to the past finally they don't show him struggling with him for a year so it is possible for them to have you fight against goku black as a final boss in the trunks thing that is how it's possible and they could still maintain the Dragon Ball Z name because none of that was shown in Super. None of that was shown in the manga. So that's something that they can do their own rendition of and add Goku Black into the game. You don't go into Rose. You don't bring Goku and Vegeta into the game to fight against him. However, maybe after beating him, the game opens up and you get all of the support characters and then you're able to fight against him at, with Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta, I don't know. That's another video for another time. I'm just trying to at least show how it is possible to have Goku Black in the game, but it's not possible without Deborah because he was the catalyst for it all happening in the first place. I hope that this has made sense, guys. Please ask me as many questions as you want down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And guys, I'm going to reply to every single comment. Today is going to be difficult because we have testing today at school and I can't have my phone. I can't be on any technology until the end of the day, which guys at the end of the day, we're going to attract me. So I'm going to you know, have to be replying to you um, on my lunch break and whenever I'm on my way to the track meet. But I promise you, I'm going to reply to every single comment. So please, let's have this conversation down below. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with as many people as possible, guys. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.